My friends, and welcome back to this channel, Vueco Family Channel. This is Pita. I think you know me by now. I am your Christian uh, YouTuber, your Christian vlogger, and I'm here to bring you everything that is trending on the internet through the eyes of a Christian YouTuber. Always uh, trying my best uh, to bring you the news, to bring you the truth in a world that loves the lies. You're going to see here good music as well. You're going to see here good content. You're going to see here always Jesus magnified. I bring normality. I bring the truth. I promote traditional values. And more important than anything, I promote Jesus. God's vision about uh, what human sexuality is and how we should live our life. And I call out everything that goes against God's plan. We need to know. In this world that loves lie, that loves sin, we need to know. We need to know what the truth is. Because the truth, my friends, the truth is making us free. It's setting us free. Free from the chains of sin. We have a new life, a new beginning because of the truth. And the truth is Jesus Christ. And there is no way. There is no other but the Lord himself. He died on the cross. Let's go back uh, to the title of this message. I want to talk to you about uh, another person that needs desperately Jesus. I heard so many things about so many people uh, chained by their own sin. And when I thought uh, I heard everything, I bump into this. Me time. Me time. There is this beautiful lady, she says that she's so in love with herself. And then she admits that this wrecked her marriage. She carried on saying that she feels so sorry for any man who tries to please her in the bedroom. Who's this? Luana Sandin. Luana Sandin, a Playboy model, a woman that chooses to show her body so she can make money. Sad. Sad indeed, but how many of them are like this? Beautiful external, but broken inside, just like Luana here. Luana, she's in love with herself. Did you hear this term about uh, autosexual? Nonsense and craziness, but uh, this world never fails to surprise me. They bring new concepts every day. Autosexual. I didn't know this up to today, but there is a category of people that love to love themselves. She, uh, standing in front of a huge mirror, she says that uh, when she's doing this, uh, she, uh, taking snaps of herself, Luana is in her happy place. Before moving further, the music is from uh, No Copyright Sounds, the music that I got you used to, beautiful music. I feel so much joy listening to this music. It uh, gives me the right, uh, background to speak to you about anything, anything in the whole world. Luana, she's a 29-year-old, sadly, a playboy mode. And she's so much into herself that she's unable to be satisfied sexually by any other person. She has even made a vow that she will never be in a relationship. This brunette, externally beautiful, inside Mm, it's debatable. I always preach that the true beauty of a human being is given by how that person is inside, not by how that person is outside. But in this world that uh, limits itself to just see the external, this message uh, hits on a deaf ear, if you allow me to put it this way. They hear me speaking, but they don't pay attention. Some they pay, the small elite, uh, beautiful minority, but the vast majority, they will not listen. Luana, she is attracted to herself and prefers self-love rather than having sex with any other human being. The 29 year old, uh, she confessed, when I'm with myself, I like to imagine my body and my face. It's me that's on my mind during those times and not another man or any other person. I have mirrors all over the house. It's full of uh, nude paintings of myself. I always like to see me and my body, Luana says. 
Luana says that although she may find someone attractive every now and then, the attraction never seems to last. She explains, it doesn't take long before I see the person again and I don't like them anymore. I get bored quite easily. She carry on saying, I appreciate that she is at least honest and she opens her heart. She obviously needs help. She says, a man is not able to give me all the things I can give myself. If I go on a day with a man and we end up in bed, I will never be satisfied because I'm so difficult and I'll feel like he doesn't know how to do it. I'll never be satisfied when it comes to sex with someone because I need more. I know my body better than anyone else and I know what it needs in bed. Let me tell more so you understand this broken person. Men used to always put in a lot of effort with me uh, in bed and always try to please me. But for me, I always just thought this poor man is spending a lot of energy for nothing. She considers herself, as I said, autosexual, which is when a person is more attracted to themselves than anyone else and prefers solo sex. Luana's desire for herself has even gotten in the way of any intimate relationship with other people. At the age of 19, she met Polish NBA star Magic Lampe, now 37, and married after two years of dating. Although they had a son, Adam, now eight, Luana always felt like something was missing from the marriage and it ended in divorce two years ago. I was young when I met him, she says, and I think I was never truly in love, like she knows what love is. I'll allow me to put uh, this comment here. Luana, you have no clue, darling, what love is. And I'm, I'm saying that, uh, putting myself on a pedestal, but true love, if you want to know, open First Corinthians chapter 13 and see there what true love is. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not self-seeking. And uh, Luana, you are self-seeking. Luana, you are obsessed of yourself. And this is demonic. Luana, in the name of Jesus, you need redemption. You need uh, to be set free. She carry on. Yes, we were family, but that was not enough. I was feeling like I was missing something. Feeling. You know, when you are in a relationship with someone that is so in love of them, with themselves, uh, literally in love with themselves, when you are in a relationship with someone that is so consumed of themselves, absolutely that relationship will fall apart. I'm not the judging Luana here. I'm just saying what's right and what's wrong. And I want to pray for her. I lift up my hands and I pray for Luana. I pray that uh, she will find the uh, freedom. Freedom she can find only at the foot of the cross. There have been people uh, that were even uh, more uh, of, uh, yeah, connected to evil and more connected to spirits, uh, worse spirits than just self-love. They were living lives so far from God, like uh, the heaven uh, was far and is far away from hell. Like uh, one end of the galaxy and the other end of the galaxy. And they got their freedom. They got their redemption through the blood of Jesus. So let's pray, friends, for Luana Sunday. In the name of Jesus, we come to you, Lord, and we ask you that you listen to our prayer. Our heart, Lord, is humble. We are your kids, your children. We call ourselves kids because the relationship that we have with you is so intimate and beautiful. And you are our father, Abba. We love you, Abba. We love you, Lord. And we bring this soul. Her name is Luana Sandin. She has 29 years old, Lord. And her life is destroyed from this self-love that she experiences in her life. This is a demonic spirit, Lord. And we pray for redemption. We pray for her deliverance in the name of jesus we pray that she'll be able to have a normal life we pray that she'll be able to call neck herself to you and she'll be able to give herself selflessly she will not look for self-satisfaction she will not be obsessed of herself she's not going to be so selfish selfishness is the morning we pray for her to find redemption and freedom in the name of jesus I pray for Luana, and um, this is all I can do from here. 
It's all in God's hand. And this is what we need to do, all of us. Let's pray for people because there is power in prayer, my friends. This is my take on this. Love you all, friends. Uh, take care. And never forget, if you really care about someone, and if you really want to make a difference, pray. Pray for people. Pray for people. There is power in prayer. You open literally the very gates of heaven when you have the courage to come and pray at the throne of grace. Love people. Love people like Luana. Luana Sandy. In the end, all of us, we've been broken before knowing Jesus. All of us, we've been sinful. And all of us, we were struggling in many addictions. All of us, we have our story. And uh, no one is better than any other one. But Jesus is the one that is better. And he is the one that set us free. And he is the one that can set free Luana as well. See you soon, brothers and sisters. Take care.